Today, it's this amazing Hammond towing. Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good evening, welcome. Welcome to England. It's raining. Welcome to England. Right, today you may notice I've got my mixing hat on. I'm sure you spotted that, and there's a reason for that. There was a bit of chatter last week after I did the Perfect Strangers uh, how to play series, or how I play series. And it was mainly around uh, the organ the organ tone. And I have to admit, the organ tone was was fantastic. It wasn't the playing, it was the tone. And you too can have this tone. I don't know everything, but what I do know, you are welcome to, and you're welcome to know how I got this tone. So we're gonna go through it today. We're gonna to go through what's on the C3 here. We're gonna have a look at the one, two, two. And then we're gonna go back into Pro Tools behind me there, and we're gonna have a look at how that works as well. And then I'll build up the signal chain and you'll see exactly how I get the tone I get. First of all, I'll start with a bit of playing and we can work on that recording later if you want to. So let's have a little bit of playing and uh, just kind of build in through that lovely sound. Okay, so that's just just some ad lib stuff that I think might sound good in fourths and fifths uh, for you to uh, listen to, and then we'll work on uh, building that sound back up from the scratch. So the scratch. So the first thing to uh, look at is going to be the C3 and the settings. So you can see from this camera I've got currently set up here what I've got going on here on the draw bars, all the percussions off, vibrato swells off, volumes at flat out, of course. Uh, eight, 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 four, zero. So it's a very much uh, a speedy king, you know. <laughs> that was a speedy king kind of sound. Now, what we need to do now is 
have a look at this sound. So if I if I uh, do a little bit of uh, jiggery pokery, technical here, look at this. And if I go and now just sort of angle that camera down there, we can see something that I have spoken about before on occasion, which is this ZD Profcon ZD One overdrive. So disengage. That's all disengaged. <laughs> I can hear a little bit of overdrive coming from the, the 122, which is great. There's definitely a bit there. So we're going to engage that, and then you get that tone that you heard earlier on. Beautiful. So just a few things to note, really. You can get this from a guy called George Krabs in Australia. And he will sell you one for something like 200 of your English pounds. I don't know what that is in uh, anything else. It's about 198 Australian dollars, I think. So it's pretty much one-to-one. -one. And what I've got here is I've got set to uh, complete thug mode. Um, there we go. If I go down a little bit more. Uh, this knob here yeah, determines the type of instrument that's going into it. So don't worry about that. Overdrive blend. Yeah, that's, that's flat out then. Dirt horn level, five, sweet mellowing, five, and volume, six. And then you see down here, you can have different types of bass distortion. I've got it to normal, fancy me. Uh, you can have V21 clip threshold, and I've got that to dirty. And then you have sweet mellowing range, and I have that brighter. I think this C3 is a little bit of a, uh, a dim one, you know, a dirty kind of... Uh, dark sounding one. Well, it's not very bright. Maybe it's a cap thing. Maybe it's always like that. So long story short, that's how I've got those settings and that's what comes out of the organ. Okay, next thing to do, let's go and have a look at the 122 and how that's set up and how the mics are arranged and then we'll whiz back into Pro Tools and we'll see it all go back into Pro Tools and have a look at what I do in there. And here we have in the little cubby hole. My Leslie one two two recording setup. Moving in then, what do we see? Pretty standard pair of Shaw SM fifty sevens with the wind guards. Done in your kind of nineteen seventy three live deep purple marking T-bar arrangement. A lot of people would tend to put one on this corner here and one on there, but I go for that, that sound. Moving down. That's a Shaw Beta 52A bass drum mic with a wind guard. There's my pretty heavily modified Leslie 122 there. More on that one later. So, there we are, hard pan left to right. No surprise. Center base. And then a nice little ribbon. Just picking up an overall warmth. Wouldn't you say? Okay, he's got his mixing hat on and he's mixing glasses, so we know we're in for a rocky ride. Let me just spend a quick moment to show you how I'm doing the routing for the C3 into Pro Tools. Okay, so here's the bass rotor there, Leslie Top SM57 as you saw, 58 uh, right 57 as you saw, the room ribbon, uh, organ summing, and uh, some. And the other summer, which I'll explain for you now. I just wanted to say, left, don't worry about these Marshall DIs there. We're not using those Marshall DIs at the moment. Okay. So basically, the uh, bass microphone 
goes into bus one, which goes to a base auxiliary. The two Leslie's come together into a stereo auxiliary track there, the two top rotors, 57s. And then the room mic goes into there. It's a little bit, you know, I mean, I didn't have to do that really. I could have just put those effects on there, couldn't I? But it's the way my brain works, so apologies. Uh, all of those there, forgetting that one, the DI, all of those sum into organ here. And then go to master. Okay, a bit over the top. And frankly, Pro Tools doesn't like it. But what that means we can do. So the Leslie bass just goes straight into the bass auxiliary and I run three plugins in it. So are they going to let me see the plugins? There we are, there's one. So this is Waves, it's called Red 3751 and it's a desk emulator. And here are the settings. Nothing that's uh, too surprising, really, I wouldn't wonder. Uh, middle on the high, a lot of low tone, desk drive and analog sound emulation. The next setting is the saturator. I love the Abbey Road saturator, uh, just love it. Even just running it through like it is now, there's nothing much going on there as you can see. It's all pretty much straight apart from the amount of gain. And just running it through that it makes a real difference I think to the, to the way it sounds. Moving on, a little bit of an EQ, nothing that you wouldn't expect there, this is a bass rotor so we don't need those top tones there. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay now following the Leslie uh, SM57 at the top, these two do some into there, into this 57 stereo auxiliary. I came from Logic Pro and I think I've got some bad habits but the sound is the sound, let's, let's work on that and I can I can make it more efficient next time. So again, there we are, stereo, Abbey Road desk, and uh, this time, not surprisingly, we're putting a few more highs in there, but we're mainly, mainly getting the gain right and running it through, running it through that. Saturator's gonna appear again, isn't it? Of course it is. There we go. Things are generally pretty much standard and just on and the gain is down and you can see and you can look back later at the video at the different settings I've got there but it's important that you can see what it is because if you want to you can get this to sound the same guess what we're gonna have yeah it's a treble rotor so we're gonna have a bass dropping off just as you would expect really and then we have the room you never guess what I've done Put a bit of overdrive on the room, a bit of saturation on the room as you can see. Pretty much, pretty much straight. Oops, sorry. There you go. And then taking a bit off the top as well. So it's bringing up some of that sort of nice warmth from the bottom. Right, all that goes uh, together into this organ strip here, which has another compressor. Or a compressor really, the saturators are different. Let's just push in all those microphones together. You can see the threshold compression input range yourself there. Okay, a couple of reverbs now. This is for the perfect range of sound. This is a nice long reverb. I've made it a little bit drier than I did yet last week. But you can see the situation there. This is a uh, standard. Pro Tools reverb. Okay. Then I've got another Pro Tools reverb. This is a long one. I couldn't tell you what that is, but it's definitely a church. And it's a, oh, it's a small church in the Netherlands. That's what it is. And that's up quite high. And that's adding a long. Uh, that's having a bit of reverb on it as well. So I'm trying to remember which one the long one is. That this is the smaller one, and the reverb one is the long reverb that goes on and then I got a little bell gate on the top to stop it from getting too high and that's mainly for my recording so you've got everything coming into that and this is now going out to the master bus where I am running the Abbey Road mastering chain it just makes it sound great simple as that this one is modern warm master there or thereabouts 
and I usually just make that a little bit wider when I'm doing a bit of work to be honest checking all the levels are all right and running it through there after that I'm into some vinyl sound I do think it sounds nice get the input and output levels right and have it set on lacquer AR and MM I take the noise and crackle and clicks down because that's not what I'm after but I'm after that sound as it as it runs through and finally a bit of tape again levels right see that there and just run it through that as well and that is what gets you that sound and the sound you know is arguably pretty good isn't it I mean it's, it's a I thought it was I was surprised how close it was to the perfect stranger sound actually and um and it, it does, does a job for me so that's the that's the standard setup I do there's a couple of things I'm doing pretty poor there I could see some of my uh signal flow could be um, made a bit more efficient and that's what I'm going to do I've moved over to Pro Tools very recently very recently indeed so I'm still getting the hang of that but I'll get there I'll get there and um and the sound will be the same but it'll probably be a little bit more efficient as well so there you go there's a, a quick run through into the sounds that i get i hope that was handy for you i hope it was okay and uh, i'll play out again the output sound from this right now <laughs> Thank you.